everyone, mm, welcome to our channel, um, it's called Lollipop Factory, um, me and my friend are going to be doing videos about Lolita and us growing Lolita and what it means to us. To start off, we are doing a um, introductory video each, and I have got ten questions to answer myself. I wrote them all down on a piece of paper, so hopefully this will go good, and I will not be muttering and umming and eyeing like I usually do. Okay, so number one, first is my name. My real name is Cat Dorothy Rose, which is like a really long name, I know, but I go by the name Suri, which means Rose in Persian, and Rose is my middle name. Um, second is age. I'm 14 years old, um, and when I started wearing later, I was 13, so um, yeah, I will probably do some videos about age and budget when wearing Lolita because obviously I don't have a job so I don't have that much money. Number three is where about we live in the world. I live in Somerset in the UK. Um, I know quite a few Lolitas live around. Most of them live in Bath and Bristol but I live all the way down on my own. There is like no really to say <laughs> Number four is four is what kind of loot we like best. Um, I started out wearing gothic looter, so that was my favourite um, last Easter when I started, so I've been going for almost about a year now. But I, so gothic looter was my favourite back then, but now sweet is my favourite. Um, I love wearing Sweet Lolita, it's so cute and because I'm younger I feel I can get away with wearing more sweet clothes than a more mature person would. All of my sentences seem to end like questions. Number five, what inspired us to become Lolita? I would have to say kamikaze girls inspired me, which is what I guess most western girls say that. They've seen the movie and they go, oh that's such a cute fashion, well that was the same with me. So if anyone said, oh who got you into Luta? I would have to say my dad because he was the one who made me watch the movie. He was like, oh this is this, this adorable fashion on here that I think you might like, watch it with me. And that's why you're here. <laughs> And I watched it and I was like, ah, oh, baby, the star shine bright, that sounds so cute. And I looked up the internet and there was like the prices. I'm like, no way. But then from there I was directed to the Lita Fashion Forums, where I met loads of lovely people and they showed me to Bodyline, which is where I got my first dress and stuff. So number six is how often do we wear Lolita? Um, I try to wear Lolita at least once every fortnight, but sometimes that doesn't go to plan because I have loads of school stuff, so, and my school is a uniform school, so I don't wear Lolita school. I probably would if I could, but maybe more classic or um, toned down, or toned down gothic like um, casual and casual gothic because um, like teenagers, especially the girls, are not really known for their kindness. Why am I oh yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry I still managed to be wrong, um, but I would probably wear it um, more than once a fortnight, but on like if it's a holiday I will wear it almost every day depending on what I have and whether it needs washing or not and how pooty my petticoat is because if I wear it for days on end it will just go like unpooty so yeah number seven 
is favourite JSK one piece or skirt. I have two favourites, one is the handmade one and the other one is a bought one. The handmade one is this one that my mum made for me by hand. She stitched the whole thing by hand um, and she made it for my birthday last year and I absolutely love it and it's adorable and I nickname it, oh I just dropped my baby box on my bed. Uh, I nickname it the <laughs> um, Country Daisy. That's my favourite handmade one and my favourite bought one is this one which is the Oh, maybe the baby, the stars shine bright, Carousel, this one. Carousel JSK, which I have the head bow and the matching bag in sax blue. Let's go with it. Um, number eight is hobbies, and I like to draw a lot. Um, I guess I started drawing like manga art when I was in year five, so when I was about eight or nine, and I just love to draw, like I said, mostly manga because I've been doing it for quite a while, but I sometimes try and draw real life or still life, but I have a deviant art under the username in mode, and the link is down in the bottom. Um, I try to upload as many pics as I can, but mm, I just don't really have time. So it's a bit lacking at the moment, but hopefully I'll be able to get some time. Uh, I also like writing. Um, loads of people say I'm really creative. Uh, my mum just says that that's really bad because, well, she's, it's sometimes bad because I don't really pay attention. I'm talking again, I'm sorry, like, um, rambling, I'm really sorry. But I have a fanfiction account under the pen name Niko Saki. So, if you've read any of my, um, things. Hi, I'm Niko Saki. Hi. <laughs> There's also a link down there. Um, I also play the violin. I have a, my violin here. It's my baby. I love it very much. I've had it for three years now and uh, I still can't play it very well though. Um, oh, that sounds really bad. I got a new bow just today because my old one broke at the top and um, that one, that bit, and it snapped and I was, I was so totally gutted when I opened my violin case and I saw it there broken and I cried because I couldn't play violin but I'm super happy when it came today I love playing violin I might play some tunes on it for a video somewhere Usually I just use one of them, but sometimes I use them both at the same time. Because <laughs> I'm special like that. <laughs> uh, I read a lot, in case you can tell from all my books. I've read almost all of them now. I do at the same time have a few manga books. I have Tokyo Mew Mew, all of the series apart from number two, which is somewhere. I do not know where it's gone. And I have some fruit basket ones. But apart from that, it's all books, like proper books. Um, I like to play video games. Um, I'm addicted to Legend of Zelda at the moment. Um, yeah. Anyone played Zelda before? It's epic. I finished it. 
two months ago now. And it was amazing and I love the storyline. But I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, a few minutes. Um, and I also do sewing and embroidery. Uh, I should have probably brought up my wolf sampler because that's awesome. If I say so, it's not even halfway finished, but it's still pretty awesome. Okay, yeah, moving on to number nine, which is other things that we like. Like I said, I like Legend of Zelda. I have the Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess, which both of which I've completed. Uh, Link to the Past and Four Swords, which came with it on the Game Boy. Um, I've only played a bit of it though. I think I'm on the second temple thing where you get the um, necklace thing, I think. That sounds about right. Um, so I'm not really far in that. I should probably go on it. Um, and I also have Ocarina, Ocarina. I asked my sister how it was pronounced and she told me one and then she said no, it's the other one. No, it's so it's one of them. If you know which one it is, tell me if it's Ocarina or Ocarina. Okay. Uh, my little brother also has some of the Toon Link ones, but I don't remember which ones he's got. 